Hello, and welcome to episode 50. This is 50. 10 times 5, it's a milestone. 50 of it's a- the Daybot cast. This is a uh, weekly podcast where each week we come together to talk about K-pop and what's current in K-pop and Korean culture and whatnot. Uh, sometimes we do album reviews, um, sometimes we do unboxings and whatnot, which there'll be some coming soon. Uh, this week there's no album reviews because it's a uh, special episode. We're actually going to be hosting our own year-end awards, uh, the Truly Daybok Awards. Yeah. Fitting. Mama can go to hell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Yeah, mama. we gave all of our awards to one artist. Every single award. <laughs> Goes to Walwari. Walwari yeah. wins everything. Best Goodbye. Girl, See you best in 2018. Artist. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on with the show. <laughs> There's not really much to introduce. I guess we uh, really were just, um, you know doing the uh, year-end awards. Sorry, I'm stumbling here. Anyways, as always, I'm joined by Nate. Yes, if you believe you will find it, the magic of Christmas time. Yes. Have Merry Christmas, because this comes out on Christmas. Yeah, if somebody, you're not listening to this on the day it comes that, out, well, happy whatever day hey, is. Hey, hey. And that whole uh, that whole song was in English. Yeah, this whole song. Yeah, is I wasn't gonna do the whole song. The twelve the, the twelve days of Christmas are after Christmas, so even if you're listening to this late, it's still Christmas time. Yep. And yep. Andrew usually has three things. Well, I, I I guess I'll just get the serious one out of the way. Uh, if you didn't see our video on um, uh, the passing of Jong Yun, uh, that came out um earlier or the, the week before this came out actually uh and just a, yeah. sort of a recent update i um a bunch of fans just ac- across the world were organizing vigils and like get-togethers just in in his honor and there's a really nice um memorial set up in madison square park in here uh, or over in new york city I, I went to visit the vigil um on Tuesday, which were was two days before we we're filming this, and yeah, it was really nice. I left uh, somebody mm-hmm. like was nice enough to give like bl- they went to like a flower shop, bought like a bunch of flowers to just give out to people and leave there. Um, people like left like CDs, albums, like posters, there, that sort of thing. Okay, I want to go a tiny bit not serious. Why did someone have a Nintendo World Store bag on that bench? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was very I confused know. by that in maybe, your picture. Maybe, I was like, they, that doesn't maybe, fit. Maybe Jung Yun, like, maybe he like maybe he's a Nintendo fan. <laughs> I mean, he's a Nintendo fan, but yeah, it, it, it's just really nice to see the, like this outpouring of love all across the world, and then they they released balloons yeah. and that sort of thing. So if you ever have a chance to visit um, Madison Square Park in New York City or anywhere else across the world, there's a bunch of others. Just yeah, go visit it. Just pay your respects. Um, on yeah, it's much still there. Lo- yeah, it's still there. Surprisingly, like because cool. I mean, like I the park the park the like the people that are like officials or whatever they probably like understand yeah. like the levity of like it's a memorial for someone it's not really like they're disturbing the yeah. peace or yeah. anything so it, yeah, yeah they'll I'm probably pretty, wait a week or two yeah they'll probably they, yeah. they, they seem to be leaving it up for now but yeah it's it's, yeah. it's, it's beautiful definitely um on much lighter note yeah merry christmas if you're listening to this on um on actual christmas day uh, i hope everything's uh mm. enjoyable mm. and if you're spending it with family and if not hopefully three people talking through skype over the internet is close enough <laughs> <laughs> about k-pop awards <laughs> about k-pop awards is close and enough. you get the funny awards today so yeah yeah and finally um just congratulations are in order for Taeyong, who after all these goddamn years yep, finally, finally he finally popped the question to min Hyori, and i'm just like how long have they been going out already finally you get someone in a wedding dress yeah finally yeah, yeah. actually they, they they better dance to that at their wedding. They have to. <laughs> but I mean, it's a sad song because he can't get was, the girl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just yeah, exactly. ignore it. Is he gonna? Is he gonna ignore burn the meaning her, of the lyrics? Is he gonna burn lyrics. her portrait at like the alt, like behind the yeah. altar? Or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a giant flaming picture no of her. <laughs> anyway, yep. but yeah. Uh, Let's get on with the show. <laughs> anyways, I'm Jacob, okay. and this week I actually have a blow note. He grabbed it for once. Yes, I actually grabbed it for once. All right, this is from Tablo. Bought a used guitar. Never imagined that a dream abandoned could be this cheap. All right. So, anyways, let's uh, let's get on with the first categories. And Andrew, you have the honors. All right. So this first set of categories are <clears throat> what I like to call the fun categories. I just wanted to get these out of the way because they're, the, I guess, the least important or, like, the I guess, the funnest. Oh, except the first one's the most important. To you, to you, to you. <laughs> okay, so. First category is 
best IOI branch. <clears throat> well, there's only six nominees because there's only six. Well, there's there's only... A, basically, I feel like for this one, we're just gonna nominate everyone every year, though. Yeah, yeah, because un- <laughs> there's not. Oh, hey, there's, until Somi gets if a group. Somi, yeah, once Somi gets a group, then then there'll be seven. Ooh, JYP, it'll throw off, it'll IOI throw off our template, but. What we'll if Somi joined twice and twice became an IOI? <laughs> twice then an IOI then IOI they would win. <laughs> win <laughs> twice would have won. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> they would have won. Anyway, the nominees are Chunga, Daya, Gugudan, Pristine, Wikimiki, and Cosmic Girls, also known as WJSN. So, Uju Sonia. I mean, this was a pretty... This was actually a really hard award for me. Really? Yeah. yeah so between two. <laughs> Yeah, so Andrew, you you were you were set, or you well you were between two as well, but different. I guess, yeah. But I was I was pretty. I but was pretty you were much solid. Set. Yeah, I think there was one group that definitely solidified themselves in 2017. So I feel like they definitely deserve the award. Mm. Yep. Yeah, Jacob and I were both between Gugu Don and Pristine. And Pristine. Yep. Like so, pretty solid. Spoilers yeah. on which one is the. Which, yeah, because yeah. so <laughs> we, we didn't know we do <laughs> we do majority majority vote. So, yep. um, but yeah, like I, for me, both of them had like pretty even solid yeah. releases this year. Me too. Um, and, and so, it was really hard to choose. Yeah. Although a girl like me, I still think is the best, uh, like <laughs> IY Branks yeah. song there is so far. <laughs> and obviously award goes to Goo Goo Don. Goo Goo Don. Yeah, Cause Woo. nothing, I mean, it might be recency bias. It might not be recency bias, but I mean, they, they definitely they definitely took it to a different level in twenty this year, and like <laughs> even more than even more than WJSN who is like my favorite of the IOI branches. So yeah, it just goes to also show. like there, like for me what uh, what sets them apart from any of the other IOI branches are their music videos. Like they're yeah. almost their music like videos Red Velvet tier. Like they're very like surreal and like very nice production value. Yeah. yeah. Except for they're, except for Wonderland, but anything after that was really, yeah, really yeah. nice. And good. even Wonderland so. was just was different musically too cuz like yeah. they're doing kind of different music. They're doing like yeah. I don't know, like girl crush type stuff. Yeah. It's um, crazy, like Chetty Pommy Pommy ask like just nonsense. It's just which works yeah. out so much in their favor because they're they're a unique group. They're the, there's only one Goo Goo Don. So, well, here's the thing: like uh, Orange Caramel used to basically be the only one yeah. in that space, Orange. and now yep. that they're as good as gone, gone. I, yeah. I'd say that Goo Goo Don this can is definitely next, yeah. fill that niche. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. Next category. Best English lyrics. So Nate is the expert on this, obviously. So, because so, you want me to read them out then? <laughs> yeah, sure. Because you're, okay. you're the you're, you're the I'll, my monotone uh, voice. <laughs> English lyrics. Life is short. Art is long. Zico. <laughs> Regrets. I've got a few thousand. Epic eye. Did you see my bag? BTS. Because I am Groot, motherfucker. Epic eye. Love, 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 love is Volcano. Elris. I like, do, 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 do. Pristine. <laughs> perfect, perfect. There, a close runner up for, um, on, also on Mic Drop, it, and the English version of Mic Drop, they say hella thick. Not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It's like, it's something about like the, the trophies are hella thick or something like uh, that. I don't know. <laughs> really? I must have, I missed that. Listening to it a bunch. But seriously, yeah. though, did you see my bag? Did you see my bag? It's a meme now. Did you see now. my bag? Did you see my oh, bag? Oh, I know. It's, it's so meme. good. Yeah. I don't know. I still don't know why it's an English lyric, but I mean, obviously, yeah, it's it's going to be perfect. It's like, <sighs> it's, it's, it, did you see my bag is like the BTS equivalent well, to first so, you slow down and then we speed up, which is like an EXO lyric. <laughs> Yeah. I I took it as like their bag was full of trophies. So like, did you see their I giant guess. stuffed bag full of trophies? <laughs> but if taken out of context, it just doesn't make any sense. It's such a dumb <laughs> lyric. Did you see my bag? <laughs> did you see my bag? All right. Maybe they lost it. <laughs> yeah, maybe they lost it though. But surprise, as much as we we're talking about this though, surprisingly, Mike dropped in win. The actual winner goes nope. to because I am Groot, motherfucker. 
Yeah, on yeah, no thanks to. by yeah, Epic High. It's yeah, just like the yeah. randomest line. And you, it you, is. It came out of nowhere. You say you're saying like he just needs something to like fill like the space or whatever. He's just like I am Groot, motherfucker. Well, well, no, he, was, he wanted to do something about is... like the world tree or whatever. Yeah, like he, he wanted to have like a serious lot. Yeah, he wanted <laughs> to have like a serious line. Two cuts comes in. He's like, so you're Groot. So you're Groot. He's like, and then he couldn't get that out of his head, so he just yeah. So he had to write it in. Amazing. Yeah, I want to give a shout out. I think. For my runner-up, it was totally pristine, because that's just so I catchy. I like... Do, 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 do. And do, 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 the, the Love is Volcano is also like? really good. Love that also. The, love, yeah, like, the, both of those two. It makes no sense, but that's what makes it provocative. Love it is gets Volcano. gets people going. <laughs> oh, you guys don't understand that. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah every time uh, that English lyric pops up in that song, I always get a huge grin on my face every time. Like, I'll be walking across campus or something, and then I'll just have this random, like, shit even grin on my face. <laughs> Like, it's Epic just High great. needs to be on the next. Uh, they need to be on the, the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three soundtrack. Oh my god! Well, there's actually a mm-hmm. movement to get Tablo in a Marvel movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they want. They line. were talking to. They were talking to James Gunn on Twitter to get yep. him in Guardians of the Galaxy Three. All right, next category: Bias Wrecker of the Year. Oh. Nominees are... There's Chad. only five nominees for hey, this one. Hey, hey, how dare you? <laughs> the nominees are Chen from EXO, Jungwa from EXID, Joy from Red Velvet, Ellie from EXID, Sunmi, formerly of Wonder Girls, and Temin from Shiny. But he did mostly solo stuff this year, so okay, that works too. So, this was pretty universal, though Nate wants to yeah. blow... Ellie, like, off the face of the planet, basically. <laughs> yeah, basically. It's I have nothing against cream. Ellie. And dun, dun, just, dun. <laughs> She doesn't, yeah, basically. God, her Instagram I have everything so adorable, against though. her, her, her lyrical Lyrics. abilities. <laughs> She's I have nothing against genius. her as a person. She's, She's totally so- top low tier. <laughs> She's yeah, let's get a, let's get a Ellie book. And then it's just like lyrics, Ellie like note. just like I, randomly give provocative me your promiscuous lyrics, and yeah, it's just like one liners of weird English promiscuity. <laughs> uh, no, it, it, this was surprisingly close, at least for the guy. Like, Chen, well, this Chen, like snuck up on me this year because my, my, my exo bias is mostly Kai and Sehun, but damn, seeing Chen in concert that, that just ruined me basically. Oh, <laughs> I, hella good vocals. I absolutely. I absolutely knew who was gonna win for mine. Yeah, I like I was, we were I've all, even talked about. Oh no, about yeah, it we, con- we were. Podcast, yeah, so we were, like, I think you just wanted to talk about the others. Probably already know who wins this. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. I mean it's it's kind of obvious. Like if you if you know us, so but yeah, if you watched our. Stuff. It's joy from Red Velvet because oh lord, <laughs> Red Flavor like, and Peekaboo just ruined us completely. Just like absolutely hundred percent ruined us. <laughs> for real though, like ooh. Like, she was really bias wrecking me for real, though. Like, my bias is Wendy, and then my second is Sulgi, and then she just keeps, like, like messing that up and making it a trio, and I'm like, uh, I can't do this. Yeah, that's like, it, it's, it's, it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible to pick a, uh, a Red Velvet's, like, bias as it is, and Joy has to come and ruin all of it, so thank you for, no- thank you for everything, rather. Joy, you've made our lives a lot more complicated. Especially with the teaser pictures from Perfect Velvet. As you can see, the outfits are perfect. Also, the okay. mama performance. Mama yes, performance. And Enough that. said. Go look it up. All right. Next category is female bias of the year, which is arguably uh, just as important as bias checker of the year because we're going to fight over this one. 100%. Nominees are Jiwoo from Card, Mina from Gugudan, Momo from Twice, Sulgi from Red Velvet, Soman also from Card, and Tan from Girls' Generation. I'm trash, so you already know who I voted for. <laughs> if you paid attention to like the fact that we are huge soans, all like OG soans, you should know. And it was definitely made the, the the choice is definitely made a lot easier considering the fact that like half of our biases left the group so left girl generation, so girl yeah. figure. Wait, so someone from Girls Generation won? I wonder oh, who it is. <laughs> I wonder who it is. It, it, it's obviously Mina. It's obviously Mina. Yes. I would have given Mina. it to Mina though. Mina should have won. <laughs> not even, not even joking. Mina. I gave it to no. Yeah, he, no. I voted for Mina. So. I, I, Mina was Mina was this close. She missed it by an ear. 
Nope, nope. <laughs> yeah, she only has one ear in this picture. She only shows one ear, so, so that's yeah, the problem. Tan, Tan's the clear winner in this. Just like I, I was telling you, I basically I followed like a hundred Tan logs on like Tumblr, and oh my god, just like my 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 wall is just or my 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 Tumblr feed is just inundated with Tan all the time. So I'm just like, damn. Seriously though, until Tiffany comes back, Tan is my ultimate bias. Yeah, Tan's ultimate. <laughs> Tan's pretty much not ultimate coming bias. back. Tan's ultimate. If she bias doesn't right come back, now. then like, Tan's I'm, my ultimate I mean, bias. Oh, you mean overall? Like, yeah. I, I mean, thought you meant to SNST. Yeah, she's gonna come here and just give anything. But oh, okay. I think she'll have something. But no, like with Tan, like I'm in love with her voice. I'm in love with like her like look and everything. Like she does everything perfectly, and she's just and all she does is just like go stay at home and everything. So I'm just like literally, that's all I need in a bias. Just she's like a neat or something, but yeah. She she definitely she definitely like took over all of our like bias lists this past year, especially seriously not like just she with music. not just with music. <laughs> it's everything for me like really yeah. like it's nostalgia for like being a fan for so long. It's like my voice was easily one of my favorite albums of all time. We'll like, get to that. <laughs> I don't know. Everything she does is just amazing. Yep. Tan. So kid easy leader, pick for me. kid leader is all grown up now. Yeah. Next category, male bias of the year. Another very, very important category that I did not agree with. <laughs> well, well, if you're you know, crazy, if you know us, then you'll know who me and Nate voted for. <laughs> yep. But, and they should have. And if you know us, you know who they should have voted for. Nominees are BM from Card, Heechill from Super Junior, Jacef also from Card, Kai from EXO, Ong Sungwoo from 101. Ong. And RM or Rap Monster from BTS. No, it's RM. It's not Rap Monster anymore. I just call, I just call him Rap yeah, Monster. I'm not going to stop calling him Rap, rap Monster. Rat Monster. <laughs> rat Whale. <laughs> whale. Yeah, Whale <laughs> and Rat Monster. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. They, you should Who did you know. vote for, Andrew? I voted for BM, but, I mean, knowing you two guys, you, how big well, knowing Rose. I mean, like, I would have voted at, for JSF over BM look, anyway. Look, but know then, who we yeah, look for. at our most oh, viewed, viewed video. That'll tell you. Yep. It's what we're popular for, even yeah, though we've popular. had one twenty-minute video <laughs> where I just ranted about it. So yeah, male bias of the year is He Chill from Super Junior, which is crazy Woo! considering yes. they only released like an album or something. It doesn't like, matter. 90, like ninety percent of this variety. is ninety percent of king it's based of variety. on variety. That's it. He's just he king of variety. He killed it, a hundred percent. And it's perfect, dude. It's because he's basically us. Like he's a girl group <laughs> otaku. Yeah, like, yeah, he's exactly. He's a weeb. He's a huge like. Mo- he, he's he literally wishes Momo was a re- like, Momo's a real life anime girl to him. Basically, <laughs> he when when Momo did the Nico Nico knee thing, he he almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Yeah, actually, that was the whole game. Try to get make him have a yeah, heart attack. Yeah, to get him have a heart attack. <laughs> and just, just like and Momo was the only one who could do it. Yeah, that, 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 like Momo is literally like his ideal like human being because she's Japanese. She's an anime character and she can sing in Korean. So yeah, and she can she's dance. K-pop idol. And she yeah. and she was upset. Uh, she was like a she, he chill fan. She's a twice up. member. Yeah, yeah. So, one of the biggest girl groups ever. Yeah, so he like he, he chills living our dream basically. So also when he hosts a weekly idol. Yes. Each one nine. Nine bros. Yes. Perfect duo. <laughs> All right. Next category Beauty. is the most important category. I keep saying that over and over again, but yep. this really no. is the most important category. It is the first annual Wolwari Award. Now, the premise of the first annual Wolwari Award is this award goes to um, a group that excel in nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> 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 Groups are artists or assholes who rap about underage girls. Yeah, so yes. the and or people that we just really want to shout out for being terrible. So the nominees yep. are EXP Expedition, Jake Paul. Wait, 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 wait. no, 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 hold on, hold on. It's not EXP Expedition. It's EXP Edition. Ex- is it? Is it? Oh, I don't <laughs> care. Like, though, I don't it's care. Fine. They don't. They don't they, need. They, they don't EXP need Edition. EXP Edition. It's anyway. EXP. Edition, expedition. Okay, it's expedition. Okay, okay, you know what I mean. EXP edition. Jake Paul. <laughs> Pocket Girls. Six Bomb. Super B. And Wawari. I will never hear Super B's name without saying fuck that guy afterwards. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you, pick, you, uh, picked so. an, you picked an interesting uh, 
uh, picture for six bomb because <laughs> again for people that don't know six yeah. bomb. Well, it's the only way that i, I was gonna say we should we should so go through knew who they were if people yeah we should go through and explain who these people are okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah everyone EXP, knows all the groups we're talking about except yeah, for this award these, yeah exp edition they are a bunch of non-koreans that a bunch are of trying american to make, guys you didn't know korean <laughs> and are, are trying to make a k-pop group and like one chinese guy and, that ended up on Nix 9 or the unit or I don't know he's he tried to audition that's all I remember but um oh, yeah so I didn't even know that. they're trying yeah the, the dislike the dislike ratio on their videos is insane <laughs> yeah, awesome. it was bad it Jake, was yeah they couldn't even speak English yeah. or speak Korean they can't even speak yeah, English literally. they probably can't speak English either <laughs> yeah <laughs> They just basically they made the most like generic sounding American song, except they made it in Korean. Basically, in Korean, they, yeah. They, they Bad, badly poor, pronounced Korean. poorly pronounced Korean. Yeah, Jake Paul, uh, <laughs> who is not a K-pop. Who I had star, no idea who was. Is not a K-pop star, but made the uh, the uh, uh, probably the worst song of the year. It called "Every Day." It's every day, bro. <laughs> Where the with with such one liners as. <sighs> Got that Disney ch- on my Disney Channel flow, and England is my city. <laughs> okay, the thing is a awesome. meme in of itself. I'm, everybody's heard of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty except sure everyone Nate, knows it. Except me. Yeah, but. <laughs> except Nate because he's. I'm dude, old. Yeah. They, people spent like six months shitting on him. Yeah, Pocket Girls. Um, they made a. They're not too. They're not all that bad. It's just they made a song called "Opa Is bad. Trash." So I have to put them on this <laughs> list because you have to be scraping the bottom of the barrel if you're going to make a song called Opus Trash. I mean, hey, at least they're more original than some, like, Glacia or, like, I don't know, some other, like, sexy group like that. But, damn, Opa is trash. Y'all are trash. Six God. Bomb is a group where their concept was they had a before and plastic after surgery. of two songs before they got plastic surgery and after they got plastic surgery and wow they just it basically looks like they tried to copy paste some famous idols like face onto like like less famous like k-pop idols so it's really creepy and like i don't think anyone yeah, liked it terrible it's yeah. literally just a publicity stunt now they're gonna and be it's forgotten. a publicity stunt with like human beings which is like disgusting even in a way yeah yeah um, Super B is not 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 the car, not the car. <laughs> but I wish no. it was the car. Um, I went, the car could probably be a better rapper than Super B. <laughs> um, he Super did. B. All right, there's two reasons why he's bad. First is what Nate said earlier, which he can explain. Fuck now. that guy. Yeah. So basically, he uh, he had made a line or two in a rap about the Produce 101 trainees from season one when. Most of them were like underage, and it was a sexual comment. And then Kathy dissed him during dissed him Pretty hardcore. Rap Star, yeah. and it was awesome. Yeah, she wrote that yeah and then also, in Show Me the Money 4, he dissed Tablo, and that's unacceptable. What? Did he really? I didn't even know about that. Yeah. Like on purpose, so, or just for like for like the no. competition? <laughs> Did they just kick him out instantly? Well, have. what he what he said is all the players already know that B got eliminated because Incredible is high ground. Later, he raps, "You stole my song and stage ideas." That's oh what he said God. about Tablo. What? <laughs> Get out of here! Dude. He looks like twelve in this picture. How did Tablo <laughs> see him? The only he's picture gonna be, he's gonna be on ideas. this list for the, until we like stop doing YouTube. Basically, he will forever yes. be on this list. And pretty much. Last but not least, Walwari, who. In retrospect, it's probably the least deserving of it. But I was going to say, while well, Artie is probably the best <laughs> artist on this list. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> Which is it's saying something, because Walmart is definitely a piece of, like, a, a wonderful, and their anniversary is in, like, a couple of weeks. But, yeah, Walmart is, is no a one-of-a-kind treasure. One-of-a-kind treasure, definitely. So, the first annual Walmart Award goes to, just look up, if you haven't heard of Walwari. it, actually, look, just look up, like, Hakuna Matata, and you'll, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> the first annual Wawari Award goes to Wawari. Who would have thought? <laughs> so yeah, what a be- picture, too, right? So yeah. actually, that that should be. So we said that we might just next year we'll just do the name of the award for the people who win. But that person should always be the least offensive group <laughs> out of the six. We, we need to find they're the best at excelling. The best, best the worst. Uh, at excelling. At, yeah, exactly. We should give them the best of the worst. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the best of the worst award. Because, yeah, what worry, what worry at least has talent where a lot of these other people don't. So congratulations, what worry, your, your award will be in the mail soon. 
for Ice Chew, I had to use that picture. You had to, where she just <laughs> murders for ice, cream people. ice cream child. She's just like laughing at him. I know exactly. The That's the thing. Like, They're no. dying, and Mina is laughing hysterically <laughs> at him. It's, it's the scariest thing ever, and it's amazing. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, see, so I guess you can it, tell which. Uh,